Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today's video is a very different one for me. Um, I decided to film a look with the beautiful September Rose palette, the Brew palette, and she looks like this. Um, I wanted to create a look inspired by my beautiful little gecko Kofi who sadly passed away last night leaving a gaping hole in my life um, the cage butler you can see his home was right next to my bed um, so yeah <laughs> um, Kofi would range in colour from this beautiful light sandy colour right through to a deep rusty brown and I feel that his colours were very autumnal so I wanted to create an autumnal look inspired by the shades of Kofi. Throughout the video I will pop up pictures um, so that you can see the different shades of Kofi and then at the end let me know what you think. So let's get on into this. Um, I think the first shade that I really want to uh, pop on is this spice chai this one here um it's a really beautiful kind of orangey brown yeah, i'm just gonna oh okay this has really got some pigment um put this in my crease here this is a really beautiful color so yeah, having having lost Kofi last night, I wanted to uh, wanted to do something kind of nice in in memory of him. Um, so he brought me so much joy. Just he was a a very funny little gecko. He had such a big personality. And sometimes he was really sweet and cuddly and uh, other times he just uh, wanted to bite me. <laughs> um, you always knew where you stood with him. <laughs> um, this, is, this is tough talking about him already and it still doesn't feel quite real that he's uh, actually gone anywhere <laughs> I haven't uh, quite prepared myself for, for clearing out his uh, his little home yet but Christa Gecko is a really really interesting little pets to keep the species there on the whole very tame very kind of and, but with just funky personalities um i do have another crested gecko oreo um i'll pop his picture up maybe i'll do a look inspired by oreo sometime <laughs> um yeah they're very very interesting to keep um Generally very sweet natured. Uh, my my Kofi was in a league of his own <laughs> when it came to that. Um, I really like that colour actually. It's a very very autumnal colour and a very Kofi colour. Um, he would go this kind of colour as he fired up. Like so if he was hungry, if he was excited, if he was angry, he would really fire up this this beautiful kind of rusty orangey brown. Beautiful. Um, so I think next I I want to deepen it up. Um, do I want to deepen it up? Yeah, I do a little bit. I'm going to dip into this red velvet here, and uh, let's see what that does. <laughs> Ooh, that looks beautiful. 
absolutely beautiful. That's the perfect kind of, you know, those ready brown fallen leaves. Really nice. Very, very much loving this colour. I'm just going to take that into my crease a little bit. I've decided to bring this colour up a bit higher just and then use the spice chai the first colour to uh, to blend it out more because I'm really really enjoying this colour I don't know about you guys but I love autumn I love the the colours I love uh, I love Halloween I really really love Halloween um, so expect to see some Halloweeny stuff going on on the channel soon. If you guys, what's your favourite time of year? Um, I think I can safely say mine is autumn, autumn, winter, probably more autumn. Just, uh, I just love the, the colours that come with that. I really, really, really like that colour. So I'm going to dip back into the Spice Chai, this one here, and uh, use that just to blend out the edges a little bit. And then I will go in with a lighter shade after. And it's a very Kofi colour. <laughs> but mixing the two definitely does create a really nice blend there i'm really enjoying these colors they are gorgeous absolutely absolutely gorgeous um so i'm going to use um this tea latte and ginger i'm just going to dip between the two um just to blend the edge yeah, I'm actually really, really liking that blend. I'm just going to bring the spice, spice chai back a little bit there. Excellent. I'm loving this. And the red velvet, just to bring that back in. To deepen up there. These colours are so beautiful. This is my idea of a perfect neutral palette. Some really interesting colours in in this palette. And I'm really, really enjoying playing with it so far. These colours really do blend like a dream. Look, that was effortless, that blend. So I'm just going to dip into that red velvet and uh, just place that right against the lower lash line there. Just to give a little bit of depth just to the right by the lash line and then what i'll do is i'll smoke it out with uh, the ginger i think which is this one so just using the same brush i'm just going to dip into ginger and just smoke that out a little bit that's a really cute colour. These colours are so pigmented, but yet so blendable. Really, really blendable. They are a dream to work with. So I'm going to go in with Cold Brew, this one here, over the main part 
of my lid. Let's try this with a brush and see how it works. Oh, the color is gorgeous. I'm going over the most part of my lid with this colour. Um, I didn't go in with a, a glitter primer or anything because I just want to keep this a nice soft full look. Wow. This colour is stunning. So I do want to use the other shimmer because there are only two shimmers in this palette. And it's this iced tea, and just because I just want to brighten up the inner part a little bit. And then I'm just going to pop that there, just on the very, very inner part there. Kofi did love shiny things. I forget when I uh, have my nails done. I think I've got a picture um, that I can put up. Um, he kept trying to eat them. I don't know if he thought they were a shiny little bug or something. Um, but he was obsessed with trying to eat my nails. So he would love these shiny colours, especially. I do think I want to bring a bit of that shimmer onto my lower lash line. So I'm just going to go into the cold brew just a, a little bit. And just stamp that a bit there. Yeah, I like that. That was a good choice. Gives the look a little, a little more something, I think. Yeah. And then a bit of the iced tea, the gold shade, just to blend them in a bit, just uh, and just to tie it in with the upper side a bit more. I am. Uh, Blending it in a little bit and just into that other shimmer. Hmm. Okay, so let's dip back into the red velvet and just go back in and uh, deepen this outer edge up a bit more. I might put the tiniest bit of loose leaf, which is uh, the black. Just the tiniest bit, just to help deepen that a bit more. And then back into the red velvet, because I don't want to lose the colours. I just wanted to deepen it, not turn it black. Okay, so eyeshadow done i'm gonna head off camera finish my face and then i will come back with you to discuss the final look and see what you think about uh see if you think i did a good job of uh taking inspiration from kofi's colors and creating an autumnal look so i'll be back in just a moment Okay, so this is the final look. What do you think? Did I do my beautiful Kofi justice? I really hope so. I was just... Don't cry, Steph. I'm really happy with it. I feel that it's a really autumnal look. Um, not my usual style, but... I'm pretty happy with it and uh, the lipstick I have on is a new one from Makeup by Lisa in the shade Burlesque and so far it's really comfortable. I should really have used a lip liner but 
I don't have a red one and this is my first really red lipstick so I like it I honestly didn't think this colour would suit me but I'm really really happy with that and it's really comfortable so far um, so yeah the September Rose Brew Palette what can I say these this is the absolute perfect neutral palette look at those colors the perfect neutral palette and they just blend like a dream an absolute dream i don't think i've ever been quite so excited about a neutral palette as i am this one I think the fact that I've used it to create a look inspired by my Kofi is just going to make it all the more special uh, to me. So, soppiness over with. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. Um, how did I do with uh, taking inspiration from the shades of Kofi? <laughs> did I do okay? Let me know in the comments below let me know do you guys keep pets and uh, how do you feel about them do you feel the way i do that they're part of the family um i feel lost today but i think uh i think we've created a, a pretty nice representation of kofi's colors so who knows? Anyway, I am going to stop talking before I start crying. So, thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new, my videos really are usually more upbeat, happier videos. I'm usually creating more colourful looks. Um, but yeah, today was a different one. So thank you again for spending this time with me today. I will see you all again very, very soon. Bye.